Welcome back to the garage, the place where we are making your Bronco, your dream Bronco. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe. I'm putting out how-to videos for the weekend mechanic and providing the Bronco entertainment for the Bronco community. Now our community has just expanded. So today, I'm talking about the 2021 Ford Bronco. Now, first, I, I've just got to say, I'm really happy with how the Bronco looks. Like, it looks like a new version of this. It looks really good. I think Ford did an amazing job on the Bronco. And I mean, gosh, I think their release video has like 2 million views at this point. So obviously it's making a splash. So if you haven't seen that video, I'm just going to show it anyway and just kind of talk through some of the things that I really think Ford did right. Now, the first one is this body line. And, you know, on my Bronco, I've got the sport trim on there. So you really can see the body line. But what I love is on the new Bronco, there is that same body line that goes across the body. And what I also love is they kept the shoulder like this rounded part here that goes all the way the length of the body. Like, I think those are two elements. Obviously the grill is, uh, you know, the front of the Bronco is very iconic and it looks like the classic style, but having that body line go across the whole body and then the shoulder go across the whole body, those two elements really make this iconic classic Bronco look to the new Bronco. And so that's just one design element that I think is really cool that they kept. A new element that I thought was awesome were the wheel wells. I'm running 35 inch tires. And if you look at the two door version of the Bronco, that wheel well is made for a 35 inch tire. So it's really cool that, you know, Ford thought through that and thought, you know what, we're going to make these big enough to be able to hold these massive tires in there. And I think you could easily get a 37 in there. Um, probably not a 40, but you know, it just, it really spoke to me about Ford's intentionality of making this an off-road vehicle that was really made to go off-road, not just mall crawling. Now talking about wheels, fenders, you guys are all bringing up IFS, independent front suspension. And I know that that was a drag that it wasn't a solid axle front end, but it's really one of those things that doesn't make me too disappointed. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm in the minority here, but I feel like the benefit that you're going to get driving the thing on the road, but also like, you know, just going balls out at like the sand dunes and stuff like that. Like, I think that that independent front suspension is actually going to be pretty sweet. And a lot of people aren't even going to notice the lack of the solid axle under there. But there's another element to this, even with IFS, like, you know, you see that little control panel that Ford has put in the Bronco and it has locking front and locking rear. So like they've thought about how to get this to, you know, work well in an off-road environment. And I think it's super cool that you, your Bronco comes like stock with a rear lock, you know, electronic rear locker and electronic front locker. Those are just really nice elements that I feel like Ford didn't have to do, but they put those elements in there to just make this a super beefy off-road vehicle that really is made for a lot of terrain and it's made to just have a lot of fun in. And you look through Ford's, you know, history just recently with the Ford Raptor, like how they made that and how they really designed it for the off-road enthusiast. And I feel like they did that same thing. They took those same notes with the Bronco and really applied it. I mean, even the base model, it, it just seems like an awesome package, uh, an awesome off-road package for 
anyone. Now back to the body, I think one of the cool things that they did was they did the removable doors and the removable hardtop or soft top, whichever one you want to do. But having those truly removable doors, I mean, you see those being pulled off and put in the back and it is like a true door has been removed, but it is like the Jeep. It's made to be like that. And I think it looks easier to remove than my doors are to remove. So I think that's a really cool feature. And then I really liked how they put the rear view mirrors on the A-pillar. So, you know, the, the mirrors aren't on the door. So when you take the door off, you don't have a mirror. It's actually on the A-pillar, which I really like. I drive around without my doors a lot and not having side mirrors. I always just wonder if I'm going to get pulled over from a, you know, just jerk of a cop, but it hasn't happened yet, but still like being able to have those mirrors stay on when you remove the doors, I think is a really cool element. Now, one of those elements that I was just totally blown away by was the whole navigation system and the like overhead spotter system. You know, it reminds me of Tesla. If you've driven a Tesla, you have this kind of spotter system where it shows, you know, on, on your screen, like, the cars around you and all this stuff. And it's one of those things that, again, Ford didn't have to put this stuff in there, but it just adds that element of like, oh, that's, that, that is awesome. Like even the navigation system where you could drive a trail, you know, it shows like all this information about the trail and, and about your Bronco, and then you can send it to someone like, that is something that I would love to have. My Bronco, it'll never happen because, you know, who knows what it would take to get that in there. But even that whole navigation thing where, where you can see where if you're wheeling and you can see what the rocks are and what the stuff is around you, uh, it just opens up this kind of other door to taking your Bronco off-road, taking it wheeling, and having fun with it. Like, Ford obviously has made this to have fun in. Like, yes, it's for the classic Bronco purists. Yes, it's for the OJ Bronco purists. But, man, they they really designed it. And, and just even their slogan of go into the wild or, or be wild, whatever it was, like they, you know, are trying to make this about like getting outdoors. I, I thought, you know, the footage that they got being a video guy and being in that world was just fantastic. And just the way that they presented it was just super cool. Like that 11 minute reveal video on YouTube. Again, it's had like 2 million views, but it's, it's just super cool. And and it makes me one proud to be a Bronco owner. Like I, I really am proud of this launch. Like I would be so embarrassed if I was a Blazer fan, you know, because those, the Blazers are just terrible. It's like a car, but like the Bronco, they truly did make it like an off-road vehicle. Like that's what it's designed to do. And that makes me proud to, to be a Bronco fan, to be a Bronco driver. Um, but also I'm a little bit sad because now all of a sudden our Bronco club, this elite club that we've had that, you know, where people who have Broncos, it's like, Hey, like it's going to expand. But I think with that is going to come a lot of really cool, um, you know, just features that we haven't had before that a lot of these Jeep guys have had or, or different stuff like that. But now it's going to kind of come into the Bronco community and, you know, I think there'll be just kind of this, still this pride of having a classic Bronco and doing these things uh, versus one of the new Broncos. Now, I definitely want a new Bronco. Like, don't hear me say that I don't because I have this. I want a new Bronco for sure. Um, and uh, we'll love to do a video about anyone who gets one and uh, be able to drive in it and take it for a drive and all that stuff. But yeah, let me know, what are your guys' thoughts? What is the one thing that you wish that they would have put in the Bronco? What is the one thing that you love about the Bronco? Like, boil it down to one, leave it in the comments below. Oh, duh. The one thing I wish they would have put in the, Bron in the Bronco is a freaking V8. Like, I, that, that was a bummer, but when I saw 400 foot pounds of torque on the turbo V6, I was like, 
ah, okay, like short wheelbase, like that's, that's going to be a good amount of power. But I really wish they would have put that new Godzilla motor that's coming out of the, the F-150. Thrown that in one of the Broncos would have been amazing, but they didn't. So that's the one thing that I wish they would have added was a V8 um, or even a Coyote. But I think the Godzilla is better. And, uh, and the one thing that I love is the design. It looks like a Bronco. So that's it for today. Let me know what you guys think. Leave it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.